Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder EX here back with more Let's Play Alundra, and we are going to progress with where we need to go. And that is this way. As much as I don't want to go this way, I don't want to do this place. I really don't. I'm not looking forward to this dungeon at all. Reptile Lair. And you think with that entrance of falling in, you can't leave. There's actually another exit, um, but we'll worry about that later. Because we will be finishing this. I mean, we won't finish this on this episode. No, no. That's not happening. But, uh, we are going to be dodging all of these particular uh, things. So, oh crap, I needed to get on that. Okay. So, the problem with this area is, uh, not what I wanted to do. Um, there are these three platforms, and they are right on top of each other, so that if you, uh, jump on one and throw it out of its path, it screws up the timing for the other two. So, it's, it's really obnoxious that, um... The only way to do this is to uh, s either do it perfectly the first time or just not screw up at all, which is a little easier said than done. So what we need to do is we need to come over here. This one will take us over here. That's got some herbs in it, which I can't carry at the moment, so they are useless to me. So we are going to stay out of the way of the the platforms, because if I don't want to throw them off course. Not that it matters, because their their course can be so screwed up. That's actually one thing that uh, amazes me about this game, is that no one in their QA thought, hey, the timing for these things, if they're screwed up, how do you fix it? Or can it be screwed up? <laughs> Let's make it so that they can't be screwed up, guys. Let's... Son of a bitch. And I didn't want to actually get on that one. I want to get on the one right below me. So, that one. Because now I don't need to worry about the timing. I need to go down where I went to before. Down here. So, that's where I want to go. And there's a treasure chest down there. I think it's got a strength tonic. Oh, bounced. Let's do that again. It's got, I think it's the tonic. Yeah, I think it's one of the green ones. So, I mean, we can use that. There are actually a lot of strength tonics in this dungeon. Uh, this is actually the way out. If you go all the way over to the left, there'll be some uh, stairs leading up, and they'll take you back out to the top. And medical herb there that I can't carry. And that, that will actually be the exit of the entire dungeon, so we will be seeing that room again, so... Alright, so the problem with this area... Are these fine gentlemen here? The lizard men can only be attacked when they are attacking you. So you have to attack them as they are lunging forward, otherwise the ones with the shields will block 100% of the time. Like, there's just no uh, if, ands, or buts about it. They will block 100% of the time. You can just get in their face and try to destroy them as much as you want. It's not going to change anything. Alright, so we've got a door there that we can't go through. And then we've got lizard statues that come alive. So these are... These are things in which to... Uh, keep note of. However, the sword will actually be your best friend here because it has such a wide arc of attack. You can really, in a lot of situations, just stand still and they will come to you. And you can kill them. And so we gotta kill that last one for everything to open up. So where did he wander off to? There we go. Alright, that should have opened everything. So now we can go up this way and get stabbed by spikes. I love that room. I, I, I love it. There's actually a couple of rooms in this one that I'm like, 
they really did this just to be as mean as possible. Because there are rooms that looks like it is almost <sighs> impossible to get through without taking a hit. And now I need to leave the room and come back because I need... I need that rock back. I don't know how far I have to go away for it to respawn. Hopefully I don't have to go all this way, but it probably do. On the upside, most of the rooms that uh, have enemies in them, if you kill all the enemies, they don't respawn in a lot of these rooms. So that's a good thing. Alright, so the goal is to keep the rock alive. We cannot have it fall into the water. Because we need it to provide us with just a little bit more of a platform there that I still can't use. So let's skip as much of that as possible and come back and try more of this wonderful precision platforming. I don't think it's... Uh, I think it needs to be closer to the edge, which is just going to be fantastic for me. Alright, let's... That hopefully should do it. There we go. Then we hit that switch, and now we can exit. I'm... I'm not a fan of this dungeon at all. Mostly because, you know, the hitboxes for those spikes kind of suck. Thankfully, that's the only room we have to deal with them in, so... And yay money! You know, I'm looking for one little measly thing of health. You can keep giving me money, that's fine. I'll probably need it after this dungeon. There is a high likelihood of needing to uh, replenish my stock. Alright, so again, we've got enemies that'll spawn. The goal is to actually just want to... You want to stay close to them so that they will actually just keep attacking you. But the problem is these guys, they just all spawn. Alright, come on. Come on down here. Come after the, uh... The, the elf kid. Warm-blooded elf kid. Make a tasty snack! See, that's why I like using the sword here, because... I can just do stuff like that. And then there are other versions of uh, the lizard men, like the one who's throwing spears at my face. Not a fan of him at all. They block less often than their sword-wielding counterparts, but that's because they were blessed with a ranged attack. So the developers weren't that evil, just mostly evil. Alright, so we need to make a set of stairs going up so that we can get up here. This part. So there are some statues here. I'm not going to go for that until I kill this. There, statues like this, the statues themselves can be destroyed. If you do not destroy the statue, they will continuously spawn enemies. Kill the enemy? Doesn't matter. Enemy will come back. Oh, I forgot about the fireball. So we've got, you know, a level of Mario Maker here. So we'll just skip all that, go up the stairs. Oh, it's this part. Uh, that's an herb. Not really reason for me to get the herb at the moment. But we have... These statues. And like I was saying earlier, they will just continuously spawn enemies. And you don't want that, especially here, because here we have to make precision jumps. And nothing is worse than having to make precision jumps when there are enemies that are at your height that can knock you off those platforms. That's just. Again, there's just a level of artificial difficulty that was thrown in here that I just kind of kind of question at times, you know? All right, so we got the key. 
Which means I don't remember where I need to go from here. Oh, I remember. Okay. So we need to go all the way back up to the main room that we started in. Because then we can go up and around. And, uh... I'm just skipping all of that. You can't pay me to deal with that again. And there's a lot of switching between sword and iron flail here, but... Alright, so... We can save that for later, because there will actually probably be a ton... See? I just bumped that. Threw off the timing. But thankfully, we don't have to worry about that anymore. And money, and... Useless health. So now we can run all the way over here behind the waterfalls, which I think is kind of cute. And... Just skip these guys. There's really no point. I don't remember what that treasure chest is. Don't remember. Uh, let's see. That's herbs, so that's pointless to us at the moment. Uh, there are... Three potions with, or three treasure chests with herbs, three strength tonics, a life vessel, and a gilded falcon here. And then there are three keys that we have to get. And then uh, this area's crest and other treasure. So, uh. Oh, it's this part. Okay. I remember this. So there's actually two ways you can go but there's only one way that you can go that actually gets you out. Which is here. And we gotta jump over there. And then we've gotta kill the statues. And like I said, they will just continuously spawn enemies. And then we have these... these little bastards. Um... Oh. You... you block those. These... These guys block very infrequently uh, for like the, the repetitive attacks like this because they spit vomit at you. So they're those dinosaurs from Jurassic Park that uh, shoot the acid. Alright, so we've got a bunch of statues here. We can attack them while they're green. And we have to destroy all of them. And... I was hoping to get two in one shot, but apparently not. And doing that opens up an area for us. Plenish some health. So, let's go down. Okay, and I was not expecting to make it to this part this quickly. This is a save point and a teleport to another area, so we're... I mean, I, I could save it. Might as well. I still need to show off the, uh... Uh... The loading screen, which is just so obnoxious. It is one of those things... I really do need to show it off so that, uh... You guys can see just how frustrating it can be when you want to load up a, a save file and how long it takes for you to actually just get in the game. It's one of those things... That is one thing about this game that I will not forgive. As, as much... As, like, it's cute the first time, but then every subsequent time, the amount of time it takes... No. Alright, so... We've got some statues we got to break here. And it'll open the door, and we can kind of go through there. And then we've got this. Like, I don't, I don't get what this is, why there are free-floating fireballs out to get us. But there are. And, like, that's, that was just dick. Just, I'm gonna hang out there. Alright, so there is Strength Tonic there. Um, I don't think we actually need to fight these guys, so we're just gonna run. 
Yeah, I don't think we had to fight those. We could just run. Alright, so... I'm, I'm, I'm in the habit of finding as much health as possible when I'm not quite at full in this area. Because of things like this. This section here. Let's switch to the Earth Scroll. So, there are all of these statues, and in order to to get from point A to point B, we actually need to activate these guys. And, uh, these statues are actually a little different. They will, uh... Oh, I'm taking way too much damage from these guys. Come on. Come over here. Come spit your goo out. Oh, really? I hate these with a passion. And because we have so many strength tonics, I'll use one. I mean, since we have so many of them in this dungeon, I'll have to go back. Come on. And you know what? Screw you. I don't. I don't care. So, come over here, hit the switch, and then, I actually didn't even really need to do that. I could have just come over here and got the life vessel. It will f uh, completely heal you to full. So, but there are strength tonics, and it's a, it's a strength tonic. I know we'll encounter at least one more while we're here. Alright, so, the next section... Oh no, we don't even have to do that. We could just leave that be. So screw you guys, I'm not waking you up if I can avoid it. Alright, so... That statue has to be destroyed so that we can come up here, hit that switch. This statue has to be destroyed so that we can come up here and hit this switch. Ugh, really? Ah, son of a bitch. I just completely screwed that up because of him. Alright, let's... We'll have to leave and come back into the room. Alright, that switch stays green. So that's good. Let's switch to my sword. So that I can actually deal with these guys. Oh, crap. I gotta destroy him again. Alright. Alright. Now we switch to the sword so we don't have that issue again. Hop up there, and then that will open this door, and I actually will need to switch to the Earth Scroll for this next bit. And my uh, Iron Orb. Forgot about that. Alright, so we've got... We've got a bunch of enemies, and Earth Scroll does wonders for this section. It really makes like I'm I'm almost disappointed that he survived. All right, you can die now though. That would be fantastic. And now that they're all dead, we can leave. And we want to skip waking anyone up if we can. And then we can actually come back down here. And since it's about... We're about out of time. This takes us back to this room. So we can... We can save it. Replenish our HP MP. And that'll be the end of this episode, really. Um, recover that, we're at 22 health, we're good. So, yeah, go ahead and save progress. And I will see you guys in the next installment, where uh, we'll finish up the, the reptile lair. So, that's, that's a thing that'll happen. <laughs> I sound so en enthralled. Honestly, this dungeon's not terrible. Like, the last dungeon was worse.
the last couple of sections were worse. This is actually, you know, actually not bad. It, I'm, I'm hoping the game is on an upswing. So, uh, I'll see you guys in the next installment. Till then, later everyone.